Welcome to the Inflow Podcast. I am your host, Michelle Bosch. I see a gapping hole across society that focuses on the outer work and forgets about the inner work, when what we really need is to bridge the gap between prosperity and spirituality to live a life in flow with inflows of light, inflows of cash, inflows of creativity, inflows of grace in our lives. Each week, join me for powerful messages and interviews that will leave you inspired and ready to step into flow in your higher work. So now, let's go. Welcome to the Inflow Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Bosch, coming to you today. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday here in Phoenix, Arizona at the time of this recording. And today I wanted to talk about how to create quantum leaps. You know, I am, I've been this morning in several meetings and I'm getting ready to finalize goals for next year as far as revenue wise, you know, for our separate, you know, lines of businesses. And one thing that I want to focus on in 2022 is how to create quantum leaps um, for our teams, how to create quantum leaps when it comes to revenue goals, how to create quantum leaps when it comes to um, investing and cash flow and profits. And um, these are some of the things that I have been basically thinking about as I go about doing this that I think would be beneficial right now. I mean, we're on November 8th at the time of this recording and we have, I think, I don't know, five, six or six or seven weeks left of the year. And so it's, it's a time after the last 19 or 20 months, you know, that we've had of the world being in chaos and complete uncertainty and, um, in having to double down uh, to thrive amid, you know, amongst all the chaos that has been going on, um, I, I think that there's a lot of people out there that are that have been putting in the work, that have been business athletes when it comes to entrepreneurship or investing, and that are starting to feel basically the, I would say, the the stress that comes from being under, you know, uh, quite a bit of amount of stress over a long, long period of time and us not being designed, in my opinion, you know, to be under such a stress for a long period of time. And for me, as I was going through these goals, I was like, I, I want goals that feel light, that feel easy, uh, not because I'm not willing to put in the reps. I understand the importance of self-discipline and persistence when it comes to achieving achieving goals. I mean, the reason why many take themselves out of the game and don't achieve their goals is because they don't have self-discipline and they don't have persistence. But even within that self-discipline and persistence, I'm like, how can I uh, bring into this you know, goal setting session that I was having this morning, the idea of easy, of ease, in in quantum leaps and how those quantum leaps are going to require unconventional ways of doing things in order for us to achieve them. Yeah. So the number one thing that I was thinking about was the fact that we can't get to the goals, which are ambitious for 2022 by, you know, by trying harder, which means in my particular situation, by doing more of the same, maybe in your particular situation, it means also not doing more of the same. You know, if you already have, um, say, for example, a job, it, it would mean not taking in yet a second job. Or if you're a freelancer right now, not taking more gigs in order to be able to double on your revenue or double on your cash flow or double on your profits. But rather, how can you do something unconventional and something different that would allow you to not have to double or triple or quadruple on this on the effort so that you're working harder, but rather how can you work smarter 
to perhaps, you know, get to your goals. And, um, and so it, it requires that you follow, I think, what I'm trying to say is a new pattern of thought and action. And, uh, and, and, and that comes from the realization that sometimes when you just want to do more of the same because you feel comfortable, because it's familiar with you, you know, uh, for you, that that's going to come with the fact that there's going to be diminishing returns as you try more of the same. And therefore, sometimes in order for us to do quantum leaps, whether it be quantum leaps in income, quantum leaps in revenue, quantum leaps in how you deliver a program or quantum leaps in terms of the number of properties that you're buying or quantum leaps in terms of the number of properties that you're selling and able to close in a particular month, that you're going to have to think in a different way and that there's going to have to be that little bit of ingredient of ignoring a conventional approach that perhaps you feel uh, you know, comfortable with and that you have faith in because you know, you've done this over and over and over and over and over and over, you've had good results, but now you're not just looking for good results, but you're looking for quantum results. And that's gonna require that you have this, this new unconventional approach, yeah? So, so with that unconventional approach, leads me to number two, to the second thing that, you know, I've been thinking about, which is that an unconventional approach requires that you have an abrupt change in behavior. Maybe it's, you know, for example, in our land flipping business, uh, different counties, different states, different types of buyers, um, which require different types of properties, and, um, and, and, and so as I was, as I was thinking about this, I know that right now families in general, I was just at an event last week and it was an event for women. And a lot of these women were, you know, seven figure CEOs, um, that are living right now in bigger cities, but they, but many of them are talking about going back to nature, going back to a simpler life going back to, um, to hidden natural rhythms, you know, to being more in touch with, with nature, with the sacredness of being on a larger piece of land and, um, and, and everything that comes with that. And so the immediately as I was, you know, as I was witnessing this, my, my idea was like, wow, you know, what if my new avatar was, you know, women or families that are looking for this exact same kind of experience right now after the grueling 19, you know, or 20 months that we've had of a pandemic and, and speak to those things in my marketing, you know, and in my sales conversations, when I am trying to, you know, close on, on properties that kind of follow that, you know, that, that pro profile of what they're looking for. So, so for me, you know, as, as I was thinking, for example, for our land flipping business, I'm like, how can I, how can I get there? And, and one of them, one of the situations or one of the, you know, ideas that I had to do quantum leaps was like, why do I not start focusing on a specific state or county that I am familiar with? So there's some familiarity there. But looking at higher price properties, you know, that are anywhere between five and 10 and 15 and 20 acres uh, in the outskirts of these cities and, you know, and uh, within these states that I already know of that have some of the amenities and have some of the characteristics that a family that is going back to nature, that is wanting to have a farm, that is wanting to have some animals, that perhaps wants to have, you know, some horses, that um, wants to enjoy the outdoors, would want to have. And so it requires that I think about, you know, the path of growth properties that we've normally thought of, which are usually meant for a financial investor, um, it requires that I think about them from the point of view of what would a, a, a mom uh, be looking for and 
And, and that basically dictates for me the direction as to the type of property that I want to have and the amenities that need to be close by and so on and so forth. And it also will dictate my marketing. It'll dictate, um, you know, how I have those conversations on the phones with them. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's required that I have a little bit of a pattern interrupt, like I said, because I, I was always thinking of how can I speak in my marketing to a financial investor when I'm looking at properties in the path of growth. And this new avatar that I'm marketing for, yes, they're interested in having in, in it being a good deal. You know, that's what's at the end of the day going to help me sell that parcel faster than anyone else trying to sell similar properties in the area, but that I'm going to be speaking a little bit different in my marketing, you know, for that kind of person that is wanting to go back to the land, that is wanting to go back to a simpler life, to being back with what's real, with nature, and, and so on and so forth. So, um, so, so what I'm trying to say is that as you create goals, you know, and as you go into the new year, and look about and look at the types of properties if you're already in real estate and if you're already a land flipper. Uh, you know, look at the types of properties based on on the end goal that you want to achieve. And perhaps that end goal, you know, it's a it's a quantum leap in terms of like what you want to close as far as you know total dollar profits, you know, in the year 2022. And with that in mind you know, go and kind of like reverse engineer into the types of properties that or the buyer that that would, would want the types of properties that could yield those kinds of profits. Yeah. And so so, yeah, so this this quantum leap thinking isn't just for somebody that already has a defined path that already is doing land flipping. This is, I think, so, so important to cultivate and to think about, even if you're not yet an investor. If you're a beginning investor, you're looking to start flipping land or you're looking to start investing in real estate is how is asking that question, how can I create quantum leaps? It won't come from quitting, you know, from trying harder. It won't come, of course, from quitting, but it won't come from, you know, you getting uh, another gig or another job sometimes, but rather from, from thinking in a very unconventional way. It's not coming from, you know, you having two different jobs and working 12 hour days. It comes from, from thinking about what your end goal is going to be. How can I do things differently? How can I do, uh, you know, have a different approach that is the unconventional way. So if you have a job in unconventional way it would be to start investing in real estate. Um, if you're already in real estate and you're doing house flipping, maybe the unconventional approach is to try something that doesn't have all the complications that come with houses. Maybe if you're already flipping land, you know, that unconventional approach might come from instead of doing, you know, $3,000 and $5,000 flips, maybe you start looking at $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, dollars flips. Maybe instead of looking at infill lots or recreational land that is a little bit further away, you start thinking about how can I deliver perhaps, you know, to the marketplace, um, you know, land that is in the path of growth that would allow someone to still, still, you know, be close to town if they needed to for all the amenities that come with a bigger city, but that allows a family to have what I was just talking about and describing earlier, that back to nature feeling, that being in touch with the sacredness of a piece of land, the being uh, in touch with, you know, with, with just animals in your property and, uh, and fun and outdoors activities and so on and so forth, so that um, you can appeal to that new type of buyer, you know, in your marketing in a new way and, 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 uh, and as a result, accomplish your goals. But it requires that you forfeit, you know, this quantum leap thinking and doing quantum leaps in income or whatever it is that you want to do a quantum leap in, not just a incremental shift, you know, of, of you know, uh, of doing 20% more or 10% more, but really doing, you know, 100 or 200% more requires that you let go of old beliefs, that you let go of old ways of doing, 
you know, things and, 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 and that you get yourself outside of the box that you've been playing in right now, which will require that you make yourself uncomfortable, that you, um, on purpose and that you kind of like break out of the jail of, um, of, uh, of having faith in what you know already works and go a little bit into uncharted territory to see if that is, um, if that is a viable solution, you know, if that is a, a, a viable way to accomplish your goals with more ease, uh, easier and doing pretty much, uh, more with less when it comes to, you know, profits or cash flow or revenue, whatever it may be that you're trying to quantum leap into, you know, for a lot of us that are probably listening to this, you know, to this episode right now or to this podcast, um, we're, we're talking about financial, you know, goals, but I think it, it doesn't just apply to financial goals. It, it applies to pretty much anything in life. And um, the last thing that I wanted to say is that as you, as you think about, you know, new unconventional approaches, uh, the fact that they're unconventional means that they're different. And with that means that not masses of people are doing them. And with that means that you're going to be a pioneer. And with that comes the fact that you're going to uh, perhaps be one of very few people doing things very differently. And that that is going to feel a little bit scary because you're not doing what everyone else is doing. And as a result, there's no immediate validation outside of yourself of others doing what you're trying to accomplish and uh, in seeing their results and that reinforcing, um, you know, your decision to go for this unconventional way of doing something, yeah? And, and, that, and that that requires then that for a period of time until you test and try new things that, and, and have results from those, that you suspend this belief. It requires that you suspend this belief and I'm going to say that one more time, that you suspend this belief for a, a period of time and persist and have the, the self-discipline to, to stay on that new lane long enough to see the results. Because once you, you, know, you pick a new unconventional way that is going to bring you a quantum leap in income or a quantum leap in profits or in cash flow or whatever it may be in, that that it 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 will retry, it will require that that you you know have the self discipline to see that through. So many people are taken out of the game because they don't have that self discipline and persistence to see something through. Um, you know, and like I said, because it's unconventional and it's different, nobody else is doing it out there, and as a result, you don't have you know that outward world confirming that your that your approach is the right one and, and it may be the right one and and you're going to see the results but you're not giving it enough room for it to breathe for it to follow its course and and you experience and actually have the results um, that you're looking for um, so 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 important to suspend this belief to focus on that end goal um, you know and focus on you know, five and 10 acre parcels that are between 80 and $120,000 in value that I can, you know, deliver uh, to these families to, you know, well-to-do families with incomes where, you know, probably the, the combined household income is over $300,000, um, you know, uh, combined between, you know, the two spouses and that I speak more to this new avatar, which is actually perhaps a woman making uh, the buying decision, which, you know, is, 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 uh, is, a, is a departure from us thinking about, you know, our buyer being, you know, a, a male uh, of, of a certain age um, looking for just a financial return to somebody that is looking for not just a financial return, but also some joy in return as well that the land is going to provide. And so, um, so yeah, I'm focusing on that end goal. I am acting as if it's a done deal that we will be successful with that approach. You know, only time will tell, 
but this is kind of like what is going through my mind as we are, you know, creating new goals in our land flipping business and uh, pretty much across all our businesses as well, you know, in our education and in our apartment investing as well. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same as well. What can I do uh, or how can I do quantum leaps in a way that is easier, where I can do more with less and where I can have basically results that don't require as big as a heavy lift, not because I'm not willing to do the reps, but because how can I bring in, again, more with less, with more ease, with more grace at the end of the day, you know, the name of this show is inflow because we want not just inflows of money, but we want also inflows of ease of grace in our life and, um, and, and enjoy, of course. So, um, so with that, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Um, we have, um, actually as part of our closing for this year, we have one last treat for anyone that is interested in starting to create quantum leaps in income in their land investing business. We do have a one last three-day virtual event that our team just decided to uh, still conduct and put together this year for all of you. And if you want to register for that, it, you can go to landflippinglive.com, landflippinglive.com and, um, and register. It's actually happening December 10th, 11th, and 12th. So right before Christmas, right before the holidays. And it would give you, I think, an opportunity to start thinking about how are you going to have quantum leaps in your income if you're already a land flipper or if you are not yet a land flipper. How will you create quantum leaps in income, you know, having uh, or following a completely different and unconventional approach, which is land investing. If you're already doing house flipping or if you're not doing any investing whatsoever, this would be something completely different that is not the stock market, that is not crypto, that is not gold, that is not silver, that is not, uh, you know, the traditional type of investing that is out there. And that could really turbocharge, you know, the, the results that you would like to see financially for you and your family into 2022. So again, that is uh, happening December 10th through the 12th. And it's a three-day virtual, complete, immersive, uh, intensive from 8 in the morning till 5 p.m. I know there's going to be breaks, you know, because it's being delivered our, on Zoom uh, by our team. Uh, but we would love to have you there again, landflippinglive.com. And I look forward to being with you in another episode of Inflow. In the meantime, as you're setting goals, as you're enjoying right now, the beginning of the holiday season, um, you know, filled with gratitude right now, as we get through Thanksgiving, I just want to say quantum leaps are possible. I know I've done it in the past. I'm going back, you know, to thinking of, uh, accomplishing in quantum leaps fashion by suspending this belief, by uh, trying an unconventional approach, and by deciding that I don't want to just try to do what I'm already doing harder, but that I want to do something completely different. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much. And until the next time. Okay, bye. I hope this episode left you feeling inspired and ready to get inflows of cash inflows of light and inflows of faith in your life. I welcome your reviews on iTunes. Please leave me a review and help me create an amazing community of women in flow. Thank you as always for sharing your voice by going to michellebosch.com and joining the conversation about this show. And while you're there, grab a copy of my 10 commandments to living a life in flow. You can also follow me on Facebook at Michelle Bosch and on Instagram at Michelle Bosch official. Thank you very much and until the next one.